Yo, what's good, people? Welcome back to the sadly relatable podcast. We back, baby. Yeah, yeah. I was sick of it. That was really good. Thank well you. done, guys. Thank welcome you. back. Yes, yes, yes. It's weird. I'm sitting here. Nishan's sitting there. Get over it. It's just for this episode. We have a guest, don't we? Yeah. You, sorry, you can see my black socks. <laughs> I thought no one was going to see that. So today we have a guest. Um, would you like to introduce yourself? So I am the king of the POV podcast, the prince of take it. And uh, yeah, accumulating to nearly 400k followers on TikTok. We're nearly there, just a Facebook poke away. But <laughs> Everyone, uh, go follow him. We're going to link all his socials down below. Can I ask a question? Yes. Like, d- you prepared that intro, didn't you? No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, you wrote it on the way no, here. Yeah. <laughs> Stop being mean, Ayub. You know he's a bit nervous already. <laughs> oh, shit, he's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. <laughs> Guys, if you don't know, this is Ray. This is one of my best friends. And he is a content creator on social media. He's doing amazing things on TikTok. He is oh, the person right. that pioneered the POV point of view TikTok I remember like seeing it first from you and I was like oh this guy's so funny he's a comedian he's an actor he does it all wrapped under a bow the perfect man and he's here to tell us his story you know what's funny I am that was sick thank you very much hello hi (laughs) we're clearly not friends hi hello hello oh hi oh hello oh Oh, hi Hi. (laughs) so what's interesting is anytime there's a man on the podcast um, I'm always like pushed out Mm. so we're not going to have any of that today. You no, said no. that every podcast. You said that with Jay as well. Oh. Just maybe, like I'm just attention, maybe I'm just attention seeking. <laughs> yeah. So what I was going to say is what's funny um, is before you two became friends, because you guys can explain in a bit how you became friends, um, I actually was like sending your videos to Ayub and I was like, this guy is so hilarious. Like, you need to meet him. Like, this is before, like, I was just following you. I don't even know if you followed me back, but I was, remember <laughs> when I sent it to you? Yeah, and I was like, God, so you get more views than me, you fucking... <laughs> no, I'm joking. Stop that. But yeah, that's really cute. So they became friends through social media. Yeah, and um, it's actually quite funny, to be honest. I, I, before we jump into that, I do want to say thank you for coming on. I appreciate you. No worries, um, any time. I feel like perfect timing. I've been um, trying to come on for the last year. You guys were just longing it. You know what I mean? I was calling you every week. Hey, we're waiting for you to get now? some more followers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, it's nearly a 400 k Come on now. It's <laughs> calling up Nisra when the receptionist picks up. She's in a jacuzzi right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually, um, we, we want to do more guests anyway, but we definitely want to do like our closest friends first and then, you know, branch, branch out, out and... Yeah. Ask like yeah. other people. Congratulations for reaching a hundred episodes. Yeah, oh big God. milestone. Thank You're a smart. I d- thank you so much. I did deep it. Yeah, I was like, um, I've edited a hundred episodes of like <laughs> hours worth, of and footage. had to re-edit some as yeah, well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and had to go back and change all the thumbnails. Oh my God, what a long day! And I have sat through a hundred episodes and. That's like the most committed to anything I've been yeah, in my life. Like barely at the moment. Alhamdulillah. But alhamdulillah, you've actually done really good. I'm proud of you. I think the, the best part of the podcast is how many people you've convert, reverted to Islam. I see in the comments all the time when I watch the episodes, like, by the way. Do you I think it's many? Yes. I think there's probably like three that I know of. I see it in the comments every now and then. Yeah, it's like, a, I'm, you know, I'm planning to, yeah. And even with me, when I first discovered the podcast, it was a digestible way to learn about Islam because I was getting into it. Mm. That's when me and Kayla first became friends. And I was, I wanted to learn about Islam, but with me, I'm so terrible about picking up books and reading big words. Yeah. Mm. It was a digestible way for me to take in information. Do you know what I mean? So mm. thanks. For, yeah, thanks thank you. Yeah, I, I think it works. Sorry. Nice I think day. it works because... We are literally just talking about our lives and that is there. And it's like, it's not pushed at you. It's not forced at yeah. you. You get to learn from like an outside view, just looking in instead exactly. of like, look at this, look at this. And you're showing how you can take it and, no pun intended, and, <laughs> <laughs> and apply it to your life. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, we're not, we don't like sit here and give dawa. Like we're not teaching people anything, mm. like, well, purposely. Yeah. We're just kind of speaking the same way we would speak if we're by ourselves, like, it's just like it's part of our everyday life, if that makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, no, I'm not going to lie. When I do think about how people have said like they've stopped listening to music and they've got closer to their dean and stuff like that just from a podcast, I'm like, oh, Yeah, it's cry. actually emotional. It makes me feel like we have like a good purpose out here. I know. You know I, mean? I have a reason to live. Yeah. But um, enough about us. Let's dive into the man himself, Ray. Tell us more about yourself. Give us a little brief story so, about who is Ray, where does he come from? How did you get to social media? Yeah. What, what's you that know, fire what's in funny, your stomach? Yeah, Kalo messaged me yesterday. He was like, bro, is there anything you want to talk about on the podcast? Oh, this is the funniest. <laughs> Please, let me recover the text. This is the funniest thing. Yeah. So yeah. I messaged Ray because I, I want to like, maybe there's something he's doing. He wants to promote a new book, his, all this kind of stuff. So I was like, let me just ask him. And I hit my text. I go... 
do you have any topics or interesting things about yourself that you'd want me to highlight in tomorrow's episode? Because um, I don't know, you know, I don't suffer with any mental health issues and my parents are happily married. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> and I go, I go, right, you're not going to fit in here. <laughs> That's not sadly relatable at all. Yeah. Even do you remember Marion's Foundation's uh, charity work we was doing? We yeah. had a big meeting, everyone standing up here. Yeah, this is suffering that my family gone through, and I'm just like, I'm just here to support you guys. You know? just there. <laughs> oh no! So that's actually interesting because yeah, it's very rare. Not mm-hmm. rare, but I'm saying like I don't know a lot of people whose parents are actually still together, but like happy. <laughs> my parents have a very beautiful like love story. Allahumma wow. barik me. Allah protect them yeah. from evil. I am. Amen. Amen. Um, and before we get into that though, why don't you start off with like a little bit about, you know, where you grew up, your childhood, where you're from originally, and then how you got into social media. All right, cool. So background, I've never spoken about in public. Mm. So oh, really? I know you keep that on the yeah, low. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I think that's because it was a conscious decision I made earlier when I started content creating. Because me growing up, we didn't have a lot of like people on screen that were you know, representing us. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I would, I would watch um, Adulthood and Kidhood. Do you remember those movies? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, Adam Deacon, he looks like us. That's, that's my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And he's English, bro. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was a matter of finding someone that's closely relatable. Then there was Loki, the rapper, mm. all that. Do you know what I mean? So I think I just wanted to be like affiliated across like South Asia, Middle East, North Africa, just have as many people that uh, watch so me. So you're just ethnic, that's it. There's no like <laughs> actual background. But then anyone can relate to you. That's a really that's good it, concept. Bro. If you look at my audience and demographic, it ranges from all that. People think I'm Bangladeshi, some people think I'm Iraqi, some people think I'm Moroccan. Do you know so you've never really tell good. you've never told anyone? Mm-mm. So how much are you gonna pay me to keep it a secret? <laughs> she's gonna make it she's, she's mentioned tonight. a few times alive by accident I was like oh did I yeah 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 I'm just okay like, you need to tell me that you don't want to tell people and that's nice you know to keep certain things private I would yeah. not know anything about that <laughs> yeah, but I also like that you keep like your age private my age well, so straight, straight for I'm, it. Bro, I'm, on, <laughs> I'm on famous birthdays now so everyone can go and see my age oh, oh welcome to the club <laughs> it was sick how do they know though uh, they asked me and I was like oh. I was like I want to go on the website yeah it's fun <laughs> every, every year they do yeah. it on your birthday like happy birthday and I'm like oh I'm I feel like I'm someone. But okay, yeah. so tell us how old you are then. <laughs> 29 years old, guys. There you go. The jig's up. The cat's at the bag. I'm 29. Is it really? I was shocked yes. when you told me. I'm, I'm a fossil fuel. <laughs> I do want to say one thing. Yeah, yeah. Just before we go back into your age. you The thing you spoke about, like not saying your ethnicity yeah. and like allowing it to re- anyone to relate to you. I think that's beautiful, bro. Because a lot of people need someone to look up to or to inspire them. And sometimes we look for people that are like us. Like yeah. a lot of people in their own ethnic groups, like Moroccans and that, they'll see someone doing it. And so, although that can sometimes come with hate, oh, why are they doing it? Or jealousy. There's a lot of support as well. You see a lot of people kind of back their people. Yeah. Um, and you're just smart enough to get everyone to back you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from everywhere. I'm, I'm from, I'm like you. P- support me. I know, I'm like you. Support yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're He's always milking trying to, it. He's milking they're it. always trying to figure it out. They're trying to catch little things and stories like what's in the background. Oh, what is that? Is that a certain flag? For, you yeah. know what, what culture is that? Do you know what I mean? That but, is, um, I was going to say, Abe was saying, I think it's so beautiful. How In my head, I was thinking, bro, he is strategic. <laughs> <laughs> He's like support from everyone. But um, yeah, so how much are you paying me not to tell anyone? How much do you want? You, everyone knows you're Turkish. You literally look Turkish. And that's, yeah, you shouldn't have done that, man. Now we're going to have to bleep that. Oh, I might no. miss it on, just, by accident. Yeah, just blur the mouth as oh, well. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, cut that bit out, yeah. All right, so content creating. How did I get into it? Mom was an actress back home. Oh, really? Yeah. And, uh, Where? Was, Where's home? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was about to say this. <laughs> I was, I was like, trying to oh. catch him out. Yeah. But yeah, she was uh, from like, I was four five years old and I would see cameramen in living production teams and what? stuff. I yeah. didn't know this. Yeah, his mum's like a full on act, like a sick, it's so yeah. sick. Oh, have, that's mad. I have like VHS tapes of her movies, newspaper articles and whatnot. She used to do modelling as well. So it was like, I used to see her in front of the camera then a few weeks later she'd be on TV. No way. So yeah. I was like, brother, I want to do that. That's so cool, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, I think growing up, my age group, obviously we didn't grow up with mobile phones. Yeah. Mm. So when you pull out a mobile phone in front of like my friends, they always get weirded out, like, bro, we you see CTV camera, like, put that, put that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. with me, if anyone pulled out a camera, I'm just... You turn on, yeah, 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 you get on it, yeah. Like, yeah, do you know what I mean? So I think growing up, I always just wanted to be centre of attention. Yeah. But <laughs> I think later I on, I kind of realised you can't just be centre of attention. You have to have talent. You have to give people something to to watch you about, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? So that's when I got into the acting, the, the comedy sort of oh, side okay. of things, yeah. So do you feel yeah. like having that influence of your mum doing it, um, did that fuel you in any way? In any way, and also, do you feel like it allowed you to 
freely become the person you are because she understands that side of like you know a lot of people have ethnic like their parents are from yeah. back home and maybe their mindset's a bit different they want you to go down a traditional route of like lawyer doctor all this type of stuff but so your mom kind of came from that background yeah, she did and she always believed in me and mm. it's, it's weird because my dad uh, he's very typical wants you to be a doctor and all that stuff but with him it was a thing where he's always telling me to do that and then he sees me perform i would be like yo come to my college i've got a performance come mm. and watch so he would come and see it and then be like, oh, right. Like, I understand. You, you actually got something here. Yeah. Do you know what Aww. I mean? So that's, that's when they would be supportive. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. That's really sweet. And does your mum love everything that you're doing? Or yeah, yeah. Imagine she's like, no, nope, she thinks I'm terrible. She thinks I'm not a professional. <laughs> Imagine, <laughs> I'm a disgrace to the family. <laughs> when did you realise? So here's the thing, right? Yeah. I always say that I feel like being funny or like funny jokes or being comedian, I feel like trauma builds funny adults. Yep. But you're telling me that you didn't have any trauma, Allah Vedic. And obviously that's not okay. the case of everyone, by the way. <laughs> but when did you realize that you were like funny? I get Because you are a funny guy, I'm not going to lie. Thank you. Allah Vedic. <laughs> so in school, secondary school, I was a bully kid. So maybe, okay, there is some trauma. Oh, right. I, thought you, said, I yes. thought you said you bullied kids. I was <laughs> no, like, no, no. where's no. this going? <laughs> I, was a, I was a bully kid, but bro, my attitude towards bullying was completely different. Mm. So people get bullied and they have insecurities because of that. I swear to you. Sorry, sorry, there's a lot of noise going on. <laughs> yeah, bro, well, like, when I got bullied in school for being ugly or whatever, mm. I'd come home and look in the mirror and I'd be like, these guys are delusional. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. <laughs> 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 my face <thing's> always been... <laughs> Is it, bro? <laughs> 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 no, like they're all crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just thought the whole world is crazy. You're gonna go like, <laughs> to mom, mom. I think my friends need help. They need some type of glasses. There's a service that's not being provided. They can't see. You know what? That's actually beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. Because if everyone was like that, I feel like a lot of people in adulthood yeah. wouldn't have a lot of issues. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. And I think it's because. I was like the first boy in my mom and dad's family mm. for, out of like all the siblings. So all the aunties and uncles like, I was like everyone's baby boy. And they always yeah. tell me, like, oh, cutie pads and that. So I just believed I was the best thing in the world. They were like, oh, he's yeah. so yeah. handsome. <laughs> You're going to break so many hearts. <laughs> Let's see a baby photo. Did you re- were you a cute I'll, child? I'll send you guys one. You can put it in a little corner. He was actually cute. I can't lie. Um, but do you know what? That is a, that's a beautiful mentality to have, but it's also it can be dangerous yeah. sometimes. Yeah, because I've got an ego now. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It's a huge bro. Really? I, have yeah. you carried it into adulthood? I carried it into relationships and it, it oh. causes a lot of problems. Mm. Oh, so like, has it has life not like slapped you yet? <laughs> she really wants you to have some type of trauma. Yeah, she really wants. To- have you not been through anything? <laughs> no, what I mean is because you're saying like you still you still have that in your I brain where you're like I'm the shit. And by the way, I feel like you need to. I think everyone needs to think they are the shit. Like you need to be your biggest supporter. Yeah. yeah. I genuinely think that that's like the key to confidence and I think it's like, like delusional self confidence you, you have to, to believe be you're the best every like in every field like fighters that they all even though there are better fighters than a certain like boxer they have to believe that they can beat everyone it's the yeah, only yeah, way you can build yeah, that yeah. confidence you up you have to have that but um yeah also, like when I walk into a room and like let's say I go to a restaurant and stuff I'm always telling myself you're the prettiest girl here and I feel like you have to do that I'm joking yeah, you have to lie. <laughs> I was joking <laughs> I was joking I don't know how that applies <laughs> but I wanted I to like support to see your you reactions. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no I, I do want to say as <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to be nice. He was trying to <laughs> his face was yeah. like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll be real. Although you've said that, I don't want people to get you misunderstood because I'm actually a friend of Lorraine. I know you, as though you're confident in what you do, you're yeah. not a cocky, arrogant person. You're no. very humble. You're very respectful. And you're not the type of person to make anyone else feel inferior or like push anything like you're i don't know you're very humble oh right are you in well. a relationship by the way no no, no. do you want to be in one because i think someone does <laughs> what <laughs> oh because i'm guessing him up <laughs> do you want does? Uh, she knows a comedian happy pride month <laughs> she knows a comedian is coming on the set yeah, yeah. so she's trying to like Roll show that she's jokes, funny as well yeah. no i, I can th- keep up with him yeah <laughs> no i'm just it's like cute because abe's never spoke about me like this so. <laughs> you have to have the traits first um <laughs> Uh, no, nah, but definitely, like, with, I, um, you're just I, a good guy, I think. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Same with Kayla. I would say. Someone compliment me! You're very good as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, with, um, with, like, I think being humble and. There's a thing where you want to be a center of attention, but you can also get that same gratification from fulfilling someone else's needs in the same way. Mm-hmm. Like, you compliment me, mm. you know what I mean? It makes me feel good. When you, it's, it's like being in a relationship. When you care about someone, when you make them happy, in return, you get happiness. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So with me, it's always like, and every time I walk into a room, I'm like, I try to always analyze the good traits about a person, tell them, 
tell that to them about them. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And it gives you a gratification when you make them feel good. Yeah. So I think I've I noticed that about you too, actually. Like you are always, whenever I like um, analyze your conversations, you are always hyping each other up, which I think every friendship should be like. Yeah. But it's nice to see, not gonna lie. You are like, yeah, you've done this, it's amazing. Keep yeah. doing this, bro. Like it's actually good to see. Do you know yeah. what? Like, I think um, it is something I naturally cling towards because like I've said before I'm someone that looks for reassurance like yeah. I don't know what it is that I've been through that needs that so yeah. having friends that are similar to me that when I see something if I see something on you that I like I'm going to say it's going to come out of my mouth yeah, even yeah, if yeah. you're someone I don't like I've been around people that I just don't really like being around but as soon as they're doing something and I see maybe they've got a fresh haircut they've got their beards growing it looks good yeah. oh I can't it like just comes out but oh that, that's sick give two good. people what you expect as yeah well. do you know what I mean that's, that's the thing it kind of hurts though sometimes because basically I'll be in situations you expect it back not expect it but I've been in situations where like I am naturally like that. For example, I go to boxing. I've mentioned it like a million times. I box. <laughs> um, um, and I'm the type of person to always compliment. I'll spar someone. I'll tell them, oh, that was really good. And they'll be like, thanks. And just say nothing back. Because <laughs> they're a bit annoyed or like, oh, yeah, frustrated. He got this on I me. But I'm lie. always so like really nice afterwards and like compliment and do this. With me, I don't want to compliment someone as soon as they compliment me because it just feels fake then. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You, I've got to be sincere with it. You've got to do something. Come back like, a week later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the way, you were good at boxing. So <laughs> <laughs> oh well I find it so interesting seeing like male friendships because mm. you guys will like treat women like shit but like <laughs> be so nice to each other <laughs> so I just find it so <laughs> interesting and it yeah you don't know what he's like he's a gentleman no I just mean in general okay. I'm not speaking <laughs> see what I mean like no, you can't do it here's, here's the thing guys guys listen you don't know what someone's like in a relationship compared to the friendship groups because yeah. I know some guys that are sick friends and in relationships, they are terrible. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, is yeah. I've noticed men will like, it's just a bit strange. It's like they want to be with their, their friends and yeah. they'll treat women like absolute shit. But then, not all men, by the way, I'm saying what I've seen like a lot of the time is how you guys are. I'm thinking like, yeah, and then I'm thinking of the guys that will treat women like, like absolute shit and it's like I just not I can't express my emotions I'm not good at showing and how I feel boy, bro do you know what when I'm around you just make me so happy like yeah. we got such a good connection <laughs> <laughs> so, that is so true that's what I'm saying but you know what's so crazy yeah something I realised recently I just have a lot of good guys around me because recently I came across a very evil guy yeah. and I was like oh shit so you guys do exist oh what's I've his heard name about you from, I can't say because <laughs> he's another big content creator yeah. oh wait can I oh uh, you already know I told you you remember you, oh, you yeah, wanted yeah, him yeah, to do yeah, the thing? You told her the story? About no, you told her. No, you told me. Oh, I, told, I explained it. Sorry, the holiday yeah, yeah. thing that happened. Yeah, no, yeah. No, this is something completely different. You're okay. talking about the holiday thing. Oh, wait, I, don't say that because then he's going to know. No, who. no, no, don't worry. Without saying his name. So I no, but then holiday. he's going to know that you're speaking about him no, if he won't. ever watches this. It's fine. He's, like, he's too big to watch this. <laughs> so I went on a holiday recently with another content creator. Yeah. And this guy invited a girl out there to chill with him. With a, There was like a, a group of us. And then, yeah, this guy wanted to do his thing. Is that the guy thing. you're talking about? Yes, yes. But then people are going to know who... It's fine. I'll just so, say his name at this point. <laughs> no, so, no, just leave it. So he uh, invited this girl out and basically realised that he had a lot more free time because we was, we was going out there to do work. So he had a lot more free time. He was spending, taking her out on dates and stuff and he was spending too much money. Yeah. So he came to our room one time and he was like, guys... Our room? Who are you with? I was with another content creator. Mm. <laughs> he was with another content creator. great. And he was like, female guys, one. I've been spending a lot of money on this female, this, that, and the other. So what I need you to do is pretend that we've been paying rent here and uh, tell her that she needs to pay up and I need you to give her money to me so I can owe back the money that I've been spending on her. Oh my. And I was like, There's no oh. way. I swear to God, the next day, guy... I was and then he got you to do the dirty work while he was pretending. I, like I was, was not involved. I did not do. Okay, nothing. but he asked you, man, to do the dirty work while he was basically yep, yep, pretending yep, like yep. he was splashing his Whoa. cash on her. Listen, listen. Can I tell you something before? It's not the person that. It's not the person. I know. It's right, someone else. Yeah. Nisrin. So basically, we go downstairs the next day. We're watching TV and stuff. So the guy that he's hired as an actor comes down and he's going to the girl. Hey, listen. Um, yeah. Uh, people that invited us here, they kind of found out we've snuck you in, and you're gonna have to pay rent. And um, this guy that invited her out was like, no, nah, but... Yes, he put on, <laughs> he put on an Oscar-worthy performance. He was like, what do you mean? What do you mean she has to pay, bro? She's been cleaning for us, cooking for us, bro. Are you not? Babe, listen, if you pay a penny to him, we're not staying here another night. Do you oh understand? Oh, my God. And I was like, I've never seen anything like that. And you know what's the craziest part? I've told my female friends this story, and they say, like, you haven't lived life. There's a lot of men like that out there. Men oh, are man, dangerous. Crazy, I'm sorry. Bro. That is actually a very mad story. That's nuts. And then did she pay? Yeah. How much? 200. 
He done all that for two hundred pounds. <laughs> and then he took the two hundred pound and took her out again. And he <laughs> kept the two hundred oh. himself. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's annoying, isn't it? That's scary. And that then, that like you said is I think like a so, yeah. Evil so when person. girls when girls say to me like oh men are trash, man, I'm like bro, my man, my man, them are calm. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I came across this guy's like oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It I makes see sense. who you're on about. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Do you uh, understand how crazy that story is? Yeah, but that guy doesn't represent us, so I don't know why you hate all men. Yeah, no, yeah. I, who said I hate all men? You. First of all... Every TikTok, every time I lock into the podcast... Okay, wait, like, right, can men. I just say, and I, I haven't really said this a lot, yeah. but half of the stuff I say on TikTok is actually bullshit. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. I talk totally. about how a man has to have money. I talk about how I hate... Like, I don't actually feel like that, and yeah, I never yeah. really say that out loud. Like, for example, I've met people... Trauma dumping. And they've said... Mm. <laughs> like for example my ex-husband will literally yeah. look at me will, would look at me and be like why do you act like that on social media like that's not even you you don't care about money you don't care about this you you don't like you speak highly of certain men and this and that and I'm like because it gets me views I'll be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> she's like, what she's doing is manipulating the people that have the trauma no I do have <laughs> I it as well they feel. no 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 I'll tell you what it is I have it There's as some well some relatable content for you guys <laughs> no I, it is in me I'd say about 10% 20, maybe 30% but what I'm saying, it's not all over like I hate men. I could never, why? Because I've had good examples of men around me. Like, for example, my brother yes. and that's it. And I'm joking. Like, <laughs> I've seen good men, do you get it? Yeah. But I do use that maybe 30, 40% experience of the bad and kind of make it like 100. Because, but then again, it's growing as I get older. Like the, yeah. the how much men are a bit bad. Yeah. I think, yeah. When it comes to relationships, men can be terrible. Do you think you're like a good person when it comes to relationships because you said a minute ago your um what is it the arrogance and that comes comes out in relationships arrogance no pride pride that's the I one i get a lot of pride okay yeah like, so so for what? example like if a girl and a guy argues because girls are very emotional you you know and then you'd be like ah you know let's just end it girls will do that yeah yeah and then the guy has to be like come on babe like let's work things out i won't yeah if i you think you, you um, it, i'm just i'm like cool. uh, okay yeah i think you're like bottom barrel men then no I'll not really i'm the same if, if, if someone ever said to me, oh, I want to end it, other than obviously my wife, because we're in a committed thing now, but yeah. it, I'm thinking of like talking stages talking before. Stages. If someone's like, oh, I don't really think this okay. is working out. If you can get to that point, then okay, we're not even meant okay, to okay. be talking. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's take it First of all, let's pretend that talking stages were halal, right? We're speaking mm. theoretically. Theoretically. Okay. So I get the whole you'd say, you'd be like, okay, bye then. But like, let's say the f once or twice, the girl's emotional and she's maybe not feeling loved by you or she feels like you don't respect her and things like that. And she's like, look, maybe me and you aren't supposed to be together or we should break up. Instead of turning around and being like, no, you know what, we can work on it. How do I do better? What? You're going to turn around and be like, yeah, all right, no, cool, safe. No, that's not what why he we, said. Why are we getting to that stage? Why are you, why are you um, threatening to leave? Yeah, already? yeah. Okay, why, why, why? That's the main issue there. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, okay, but also what you said is not 100% wrong. Let me get my point in before you carry on is you worded it differently. What he said a minute ago was, I want this to end. Oh, if yeah. someone said, I'm like done, I'm not going to sit and beg for it. No, of course. But what I'm saying is he's making out as if a girl's like, you know what? Yeah, like maybe we should just leave it then. Like sometimes girls do say that for attention. I'm not going to lie. And everyone knows this. And that's just the way we were created. We're emotional beings. Like when we're on our period, our emotions are all over the place. Also, you've got to take into consideration um, if you're not showing the girl enough love, she may do that as a way to get you to show her love, if that makes sense. Let's say you're not showing her that you care about her enough. Sometimes women, and I know because I've been in this situation, will kind of start an argument or be like, yeah, look, just leave me alone so that the man can come and be like, no, look, why do we to leave you alone? Because you're not doing your part. Do you get it? Okay. So, but I understand what you're saying. If someone broke up with you, you tell them, all right, safe bye. But I mean, I think there needs to be a balance. Yeah. Can I say something? Uh, firstly, I do want to say, um, happily married alhamdulillah and that's a marriage it. is like a whole different thing like if, if someone in marriage said to me I don't want to be with you I would fight would to you the, do it in marriage I'd fight right? to the no, end hell no bro I would, I, that yeah, yeah I would yeah, fight yeah. to the end to oh, make yeah. this thing work yeah yeah of course do you know what I mean now we're just talking you're getting to know someone for the purpose of marriage what you said Nishan about the whole like oh they're doing it for that little bit of attention okay I can understand that with the like leave me give me some space all that kind of stuff but I would not want a woman that can sit and say I want this to end I'm sorry, I don't care how emotional you are. If that's what you are and it's natural, I'll find someone who their natural state isn't to get to that point. Yeah, Because I don't fine. want that. That's very tiring emotionally. But then yeah. again, it's tiring as in like, let's say that's how the woman's feeling. I would never want a man that if I was feeling a bit rocky or going through something and in my brain, I thought 
like, you know, us having a bit of space was the best thing. If he was to just turn around and be like, yeah, all right, safe. Because that shows me that you never really cared about me in the first place. So you lot don't want a woman that does that. And a lot of women don't want men that do what you lot do. If so. you've given me something, to <laughs> stop, stop. If, you, if you've given something to me to fight for, of course I'm going to fight for it. But I'm talking about in the first month. If I'm oh, no, not the first month. Come on, respectfully, yeah, in the yeah. first month. Okay, well, I haven't spoken to anyone longer than one month. Because oh, I makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I went to my parents. Like I said, I look at my parents' marriage as like, I was like, yo, this is a successful marriage. So anytime I need advice or relationship, I got them. So I was like, mom, dad, you guys were speaking for six months, stuff for a lot. Just paid them all out. <laughs> Before your marriage, right? At any point in those six months, did you ever have an argument? And uh, mom was like, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. What'd you do, dad? He was like, she didn't. And mm. I was like, well, that's what the issue is nowadays, bro. Because mm. women just like over every little thing, they want to end the relationship. Okay, right? and men as well yeah. have changed since your parents' times as well. Yes, okay. Now, that's where I think the issue is. I think the issue is back then, women and men and women weren't talking to each other as much. Bro, my dad used to talk to my mom for a payphone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Now, because we've got an iPhones, video calling, we get through the cycle of a relationship within the space of a month, what they would back then be. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Their like, month for us. Yeah. No, our month... Their month is like a month. Our month is like three years, basically. Yeah, That's literally. how much you're in contact. Yeah, because you're always video calling, yeah. each other stuff, memes and whatnot. You get to know a person way more quicker than back then. Do you mm. know what I mean? So I guess it's different. But... Yeah, they had, in them six months, they had three conversations. <laughs> of course, they're not going to argue. Yeah, so it's not that hard on then, what you were saying stuff a lot earlier. They literally yeah. spoke like three times. And they were literally sending it on pigeon carrier. <laughs> no contact, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm the sort of person where I can understand a lot of points that people t say. And as well, I like to have my opinions or my like mind change. So when I'm, I'm not very stubborn in the sense where if I'm like strong, strongly opinionated on a topic, but then someone opens my eyes to another view, I'm very much like, oh, yeah yeah damn you're right yeah. so like i can take in what you're saying but at the same time like i feel like i can give you another perspective which is obviously the was, women's I, yeah, side I, which i like but i, I think we, we also need to all take into account that everyone's had different experiences yeah so like for us maybe you can speak on how you feel a woman would talk in them things but maybe he's come across women that are not actually like that and they have more malicious intention oh yeah look I mean? the, the girls look the toxic girls because i will tell you now right and this is the first time i'm saying it as well <laughs> Men are trash, yeah, but I'm going to be honest with you. I think women can be on the same level or if not as worse. As in, when the girls are bad, they're like way more extremely bad. So I think it's rare to find the women that are like that. So I think there's more men that are bad, but the women that are bad are like 10 times worse than the men that are bad. Clip this. Because a lot of women do some evil stuff that men wouldn't even be able yeah, to think yeah, yeah. of. Yeah, I've heard stories. So, but I'm saying... <laughs> If you do have a malicious woman, you don't think she's like a nice person, she's evil, she's got bad intentions. Yeah, of course, like stay away. But um, I'm talking about like, let's say you're just like in the normal average girl who gets emotional sometimes and she's like, yeah, do you know what? Like, I feel like we should break up. You're not showing me this or this is the issue. And you're just there like, yeah, all right, safe. Like, I don't I agree with that. But if yeah. the girl's doing it, like being just being horrible or being a bitch or attention seeking, like for no reason, then yeah, of course, but... Yeah. So then where do you draw the line? How do you know when it's actually the end or when she's just having, having an emotional day? Because that's an emotional roller coaster for you as well. Yeah. yeah, and she has to deal with your shit the same way you should deal with her shit. And one day she's going to have to carry your children and push your children out, potentially like change her body, which is going to be very traumatizing for her, look after your children, like raise them, look after your home. So yeah, you can deal with her shit if she's moody sometimes. And can I tell you something? And by the way, you this get is to like pick what type of shit you deal with. Could be diarrhea, could be a log. You don't have to stick. Some shit is not as smelly as the other. So when this just says you have to deal with shit, yeah, okay, every woman comes with baggage. Yeah. And or not even just baggage, sorry. They come with emotions and filled in. Everyone does, every human. Yeah. But you get to pick whether you like a human that takes it to this line or yeah, this of line. Of course, of course. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's something that I found in myself is I can't handle this line. Yeah. It's too much for me. Someone who deals with anxiety, stress, I can't handle someone that takes it to this line and they're like, oh, well, uh, well, we're doing that. Uh, no, I can't. I need yeah. someone who's here. Yeah, this but Ayub, at the same time, Allahumma barik, may Allah protect you and keep things how they are. Mm. You don't know what is to come in the future. Yeah, yeah, I know. You don't know. That's why I say you should always but be... But I've, like, I've learned from you though, because you say, sorry to cut you off, you say that it comes from how the man is. So yeah. I, I honestly believe that I'm not that type of person to bring it here. So the fact that I'm not that person to bring it here 
it's going to be harder for the other person to bring it to that level when there's no, like, there's no door open that. for it. I get that. But let's say I'm going to talk about another marriage, not yours, because I don't. Let's say the woman, you know, a few years down the line or even months goes through something traumatic, um, deals with depression, even after she gives birth, post-traumatic stress disorder, or she's just going through anything in her life, she's getting tested, and she does end up going to that level do you get it sometimes women are going through things but the amount that you love her will show how much effort you put in so i'm not i'm speaking about like relationships and marriage for you to turn around to someone and just be like yeah cool whatever if you really love them you would give it a little bit i'm not saying give them six months a year of your life they're draining you're you're becoming unwell you're mentally unwell i'm not saying do that but i'm mm. saying like give it a bit of effort because the amount that you really love someone or want to be with them so shows how much effort you're going to give to them by the way I'm not talking about someone that just does it. Everyone's going to get to a point where maybe they do that. I'm talking about some. There are genuinely women yeah, out there that their, their level is always up here. Yeah, yeah. That's what course. I'm talking about. I'm not talking. Obviously, oh, we're humans at the end of the day. Where you're going to have moments, you go through things. Maybe something happens in your life and things change, yeah. and you're going to go through a period. It could be a year period where things are up there. But if I know naturally that you're not that type of person, and your circumstances, what you're going through, is bringing you there, I can be understanding of that. Yeah. But if you're naturally hot headed off the go, and there are people that exist like that, I'm sorry, that's not the type of person. That I could handle. I and agree. And you know, you know I mean? how as well... Sorry, we haven't even let you... Sorry, no, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. listening. I'm listening. Um, Continue. That's why I think it depends on each individual person because there's a lot of men like that as well. Mm. And for me personally, I am on the same wavelength as you. I wouldn't deal with that. Mm. And like, I've been in a situation like that before as in like getting to know someone maybe for marriage reasons. Yeah. And as soon as I noticed that that's what it was, yeah. in my head, it was mentally like, I would never marry you. Yeah. But what I'm saying as well is some people and i know because i've got a friend well he kind of like disappeared off the face of the earth um minor jay's friend and he was like i want a toxic girl i want her to chuck my stuff out the yeah, window some people are like that yeah so yeah, it's like him no, you told me you no, 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 no. He's told that, me. don't do that to me yes you have you said you like someone who's a bit like fight, crazy like that no not crazy it's I okay if you like that you no know. i do not like that don't come after me i like attention yeah okay i want you to care you do get a bit angry if i forgot but like, <laughs> that, not that, that crazy no, I feel like you said that to me before that's why I feel like guys you don't need to settle with what you like if you want a calm woman you go out and get a calm woman if you want a toxic woman go and get one why are you one. pointing at me <laughs> she's still doing it and it works the same with women as well if you want a man that is very level headed and calm which I believe is the best of men yeah. um, who are able to like control their anger and don't reach that line yeah. so are you about to say I was going to say some girls do like cycle guys as well. mm -hmm. dangerous men yeah. And they do, and it's the same reason why, and I don't know why, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I don't know why, but I feel like it's in our nature, the good guys, you like, let's say a girl is like friends with two guys, and then she starts to realise that, you know, she's they both like her, I'm telling you now, the really, really good one that like respects her and treats her amazing and is always there for her, yeah she's less likely to go for him. And that's coming from a woman. Not all women are like this, but there's something about the one that doesn't, isn't just, do you know what I mean? I think it's because he, those guys are way more intense and more controlling. And it's like the control gets blurred line with care sometimes. Yeah. It's like, don't go out, don't do that. It's like, oh, he really cares about me. Oh yeah, do you that's know what I mean? true. That's, that's, it's, I think that's what it is. Yeah, maybe that is true actually. Um, but yeah, I really like these men versus women chats. Well, I think um, another that. thing on that topic that you just said actually is um, they will like a lot of people like the, ch the chase when something's so easily placed in front of you it's like it's you're going to look over it oh. yeah but if there's something over there and it's yeah, shiny and, and it's, it's and it's not showing you the attention and you it's sort of more of a challenge yeah that's why yeah um, but yeah, so we kind of went off topic. We were speaking about, you know, you growing up. It was and a good combo though. Mm -hmm. No, it was good. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, in terms of like your mum, is that where we left off? Yeah, parents' marriage. Yeah, yeah. so your parents, no, we were speaking about how your mum, you got into, you know, sorry. The you acting, got into everything. the acting stuff like that. And then when oh, we're did going you... way back. <laughs> yeah, 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 so, okay, let's fast forward. When did you get into social media? What made you want to start social media? What gave you the push? And when also was your first like, viral moment yeah. so social media it was around just after lockdown and it was a thing where basically mom got sick in lockdown with like a lifelong sort of illness mm. yeah so it was, it was like, yeah, yeah. it was you know it was kind of a realization okay time's not like promised 
I want my parents to see success for me in this world. Let me be a joke, yeah. man. No, I'm joking, carry on. <laughs> but yeah, in the, I think it was like around mid-2021, um, I was always posting funny videos like every once, six months. Yeah. And then um, I think my friends were one time just telling me like, yo, do it consistently, see where it gets you. So I posted like three, four videos and then I paid one meme page because I was like, yo, listen, if I want to build an audience, yeah. I need the audience to follow me and watch my funny videos. So I was made paid a meme page that made the most sense for me in terms of like how much um, views they were getting and how much they were charging. How much did you pay? I'm very curious. 200. Really? And, and how many followers did they have? Uh, a million. Re- wow. Yeah, them they're days, they're was, down was, charging. Yeah, yeah that's was quite way good. cheaper back then. And how many views did the video get? Uh, get there? I think like 200k. Oh, that's that's not bad, you know. It's a very yeah. clever way to like get it, get yourself out there. So I think some random lady screen recorded that video from the meme page and posted on TikTok, uh, and on TikTok it just went off. That's it. And I didn't even oh, know what TikTok baby. was. So I was like, because my my cousin in um, Netherlands was messaging me. He was like, bro, I saw your video on TikTok. I was like, I don't even have TikTok. <laughs> so I made an account and then I see it. And then all the comments were just like, who is this guy? Who oh, is this guy? Oh, that's yeah. so cute. That's lit. And then because uh, I already had like a bunch of videos that I'd recorded for Instagram, I just posted one every day on TikTok. And it that's just, so good. Yeah, it just went off. That reminds me, sorry, not to make this about myself. Um, <laughs> but no, that reminds us. me of, because I don't think I'll remember this. Do you remember the first time you told me to make a TikTok account? Yeah. Because I do. And I remember when we was, where we were stood. And I remember exactly what you said. Do you remember yeah I had where we stood I can't remember where we stood but I remember when you told me you made your first TikTok okay so I remember before I had made a TikTok account um we were in the living room you were standing near the door of the living room and it was funny because the way you said it you were like Nishan why don't you make a TikTok account girls just blow up like post your funny videos da, 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 da. and you was like you never know like it could be a full-time job one day and I was like <laughs> nah I was like mm, I literally of, wasn't on it I was like nah not really on it like everyone's doing it da, da, da. yeah and then one day I just get a call you're like I posted my first video. <laughs> yeah, it's got a million views now. <laughs> that was a, I was similar situation because all I did was go on my Snapchat and yeah. I just posted videos that I had with my friends, like cussing them out, like <laughs> saying I'm the most beautiful girl. And do you know what I mean? Like you still do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So how I think now, but I don't say it out loud. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that's that's interesting. But I've never. It's interesting to know that that's how it works for you. It's weird how like everyone's come up is a bit different. So mine kind of started on Twitter. Yeah. So I just posted a picture one day of like me laughing. Well, telling me, yeah. Just... And like I said, an f- inappropriate caption, um, which is so weird to think of like the person I am now compared to then. Yeah. And it like went viral. I bet it wasn't even inappropriate. It was like, haha, no. boobs. Something to do with boobs. Oh. But uh, <laughs> it was inappropriate. And and then what's it called? That like went viral. Yeah. And then I just used, oh my God, I don't even want to go back. There's like first traps over first traps of like videos on Twitter. And then they all um started doing well. And then, my Instagram started growing because of that. And then I made a TikTok yeah. of stuff and it did so crap, but I posted it on Twitter and it got like 60K retweets. Oh, and I was like, rah, and I, and I just started posting on TikTok because I started noticing I got one video that went viral yeah. and then just went from there, snowboard effect. I feel like TikTok's you- TikTok's the make, uh, make or break. If you've been posting on TikTok and it flops, uh, social media's just not meant for you. No, I don't just agree. TikTok. I don't agree. Yeah, we have a friend who's opened five accounts and has got a million or over 10 million views on each account and then just leaves it. I think if you're consistent in anything you do, eventually, as you progress, you will be successful in it. Can I tell you something? I I do agree to a standard, but I think that's changed a little bit. There is actually a standard now that is, maybe TikTok has changed a bit. I'm not just talking about TikTok. When I think of YouTube, for example, I don't think that is the case anymore because YouTube used to be the heavy thing. You could, if you're just consistent for an amount of years, eventually something's gonna happen. It's not the same anymore. There is so many amazing content, so much amazing content on there on high quality at a high level. You actually have to bring something now with the consistency. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. Just a consistent. Lot of us now. Yeah. No, but what I mean is, eventually, I think with the consistency, you will grow as a person. That's yeah. what I mean. I don't just mean like just sit there and be consistent and have nothing to bring to the table. Of course. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, I think if you want to do something in life, go out and get it. Um, I do have a question. When was the first time, and how did it feel for you the first time someone like came and recognized you? Oh, that was literally off the page, the meme page. So someone saw me from the meme page. I went to the corner shop the next day. Yeah. And they were like, my, it was so crazy because my little cousin with, was with me. So he witnessed it happen. Yeah, that's so and sick. Yeah, he's like... You felt like the man that yeah, day, yeah, yeah, yeah. didn't <laughs> Bro, <laughs> and it's crazy because people around me sometimes still see it for the first time. Yeah. And I'm just like, bro, it's normal, bro. He's like, it's like, normal. It's Inside Ray's like... <laughs> Do you know what's funny? Like, you still get cast. I can't lie. Bro. Yeah, no, if, it's like a good feeling. Like, I think more so when it's 
podcast viewers for me personally yeah, yeah. and especially when they say because me and a always say in a podcast if you see us please don't be shy to come and speak to us and especially when they say i wasn't going to come up to you but then you said in your podcast to just come up to you that's yeah, like yeah, for me i'm like you that, actually yeah. watch it like there's, I love there's, you. there's levels to people coming up to you so there's like people that come up to you and say, oh you're the guy from tiktok and there's people that say yo bro like you know i was on your page for like hours mm. i was going through something you distracted me this that and the other do you know what i mean so yeah. yeah you you know who who really fucks with you and who doesn't that's yeah. beautiful i do have a question for you right um so it's so funny. Ray goes, you know who really fucks with you? Ayo goes, yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, I kind of want to ask you this because there'll be viewers that are watching this and maybe they have a dream or something they're chasing. And if anything, it's something that I'm going through myself as well. So maybe you can give me some advice. I know that you kind of went through a stage where you were creating and then like things slowed down a bit. Yeah. And you were able to kind of push through that. Like I've literally witnessed you do that. Yeah. Allah do you have, Allah 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 Allah. may Allah bless you even more. I mean, um, do you have any advice for people stuck in a situation where they feel like maybe they just need to start or maybe they've started but things have slowed down and they don't know what to do and how to get out of like that rut? And I feel like every content creator goes through a burnout. Mm. The thing the is that ones. you could apply this with anything, by the way, yeah, not just content, yeah, not creation. Just content like creation. If you've got a business or anything that you're doing. Yeah. So, yeah. Bruv, prioritize your mental health. If your mind state is not in the right place, then that's what's creating everything that you're doing. I do agree. you know what I mean? If, you're, if your mind state is not in the right place, you need to prioritize that first, fix that, and then everything will, else will fall into place. Do you know mm. what I mean? So exercising, running, just do things that make you happy, for example, and uh, just uh, that's what's going to bring focus back into you. But with yeah. me, if I run out of creativity, I just leave that for a bit. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I took like a four or five month break, especially because there's difference, like I've said this before on a podcast, there's a difference between people that just want to be famous and creative people. Mm. With creative people, that creativity is going to come back to you. You just need inspiration again mm. in yeah. life. Do you know what I mean? People that just want to be famous, like uh, you found something that banged, but you're not going to be able to do it again. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, yeah. You run into someone's house. Well done. Like, mm. you can't keep running into Ooh, people's houses. Oh, we're sending shots. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to run into your house next. <laughs> or, you we're know, getting him on the next episode. <laughs> 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 you can do what other content creators do and just steal other people's ideas. That oh, we do that as well. Are we going to add anyone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we going to add anyone? They know, they know who they are. They know who they are. Uh, Damn, Ray. But yeah, Kalo. I love just, the drama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just um we know you do <laughs> <laughs> bro do do concentrate on yourself yeah yeah do you know what i mean focus on yourself and also another advice i'd give with creatives is don't make it about you try to create for the sake of entertaining an audience so, yeah yeah the viewers yeah, yeah. do you know what i mean there's, there's a lot more sincerity behind it and a lot more um gratification for yourself that you get from that yeah that's wicked man i like yeah. that thank you guys listening take this advice i've seen this man pull himself up out of like certain situations that I thought like were actually very inspiring. Um, Allahumma barik. I mean, you as a man, are you ready to get married? Yeah. No, like you're 100%. not. Ray. What do you mean? Why, <laughs> <That's> why, <so> <laughs> <rude>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why am I not ready to get married, Nisreen? <laughs> okay, so I don't know because the last time I spoke to you properly, I just realised the first time I'm seeing you as a hijabi. Oh yeah. So no. I Isn't think. It? I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. I can think you, we went live together. Sorry, can you? Is it still recording? Yes. Okay, it just is. just double checking. Karen, sorry. Yeah. Um, I think we went live together, so that's probably where you're getting confused. But um, I haven't really like there was a time where we were all spending a lot of time together, so and we'd have these conversations. Like I don't know if you uh, remember, but when I spoke about this on the last episode, actually, when when one of our friends came to us and was like speaking about getting married and I was like yeah do it like it's so sick and I think me and you spoke about marriage as well mm -hmm. and I told you it's a bit weird because you're my brother's friend <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh relax relax no, it's so, the reason I just made that joke is because I said when me, me and you, you spoke, spoke about marriage in my head I was like that sounded weird <laughs> anyway anyway we <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'll do you both in right now. I told you, um, you were telling me that you don't really want to get, like, you don't think you're ready for marriage. I think I was upset that time. Someone must have pissed me off. Oh, actually, yeah, there was. Yeah. You just yeah, had, I like, an been issue going with through, Yeah, issue. And I say stuff out of anger. Yeah, I guess I'm like a woman, I like, get emotional. <laughs> but, yeah. So, do you want to get married then? Yeah, I do want to get married, of course. Are you ready to provide what you can? And I'm not talking, like, financially. She basically said, I swear you're broke. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't mean that at all. I mean, emotionally, you know, in every aspect. But if I like someone, yeah. Yeah, I if I like someone and she's having a bad day and she says, you know, maybe no, she should no, go no. on a break, <laughs> I'm going to tell them deuces and leave. No, from past experiences, bruv, if I've been talking to someone, I like them, and they're telling me, like, yo, let's, like... If we had an argument, bro, that shit brings my whole day down. I don't want to know about past experiences because yeah. you told us that your longest talking stage was a month. 
That's like that's the like trial. three years in today's age. Come that's on, that's like the yeah. trial period. <laughs> now I'm joking, by the way. Um, so right, so but like, I, I've, honestly, if I get past talking to someone two months, I'm gonna just ask them to marry me. Oh, so do you break up with them? <laughs> that's all it is. Yeah. That's the bar. If you can make it two, two months, months. Two, that's the all bar I'm asking. is low. So, um, do you are you the ones to break up with them after like a month? Me? Yeah. I'm usually one. If I met you and I don't like you, I'm not meeting you again. Okay, so let's say if you're we get past the first day and I like you. Uh, okay, let's say you're speaking to someone because you said like okay. the longest is a month. Let's say you're, you've been speaking to someone for like a few weeks. Yeah. Like, who is it usually? Because I don't know how many talking stages you've been in, in it, but that's the one to like end things. Is it you that's kind of like, all right, say No, no, no I've, never, I've never ended it things ever. Oh, so you're the problem. I see. What? Um, <laughs> oh, so they're ending it with you? Yeah. Oh, Ray. Well, hold on a second. I've only been in like three situations like past like the first meeting. Oh, okay. Well, so, so like, that's yeah, I've good. never been in a relationship ever. No, but you've like had talking stages. Yeah, talking stages, and then we meet, and I'm like, I don't want to really do this. And if, if we meet and we continue, that's been like three times ever in my life. Oh, so how do you like think you'll find your wife or want to find your wife? Uh, when someone doesn't give up on me. Like, oh, this is so sad. that's so sad. <laughs> no, I know what he's doing. We have a predominantly <laughs> female audience. Guys, and he's, he's, he's trying to make them Shut up. Like, oh, man. <laughs> Emotional manipulators. That's what I mean, men. I almost fell for it, ladies. <laughs> so no, what I mean is, is it going to be like, are you going to ask your parents? Are you going to like, do you like Bro. lose match? Like a dating app? Like, no, 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 no. Lose match don't make sense, you know. Why? I tried on it and it was like, yeah, we're ready for marriage in three, four years. I was like, that's haram. I'm sleeping in the place, bro. <laughs> no, so you can put, yeah, I never understood that. I'm going to be honest yes, with you. Like, you want to talk in stage for three years. I never got that. They just want you on the app for three years. <laughs> yeah. Can't talk outside the app. That's haram. But yeah. inside. Like, <laughs> you know, like, you get banned off of Muzmatch if you do, like, haram things. Did you know that? Do you? Yeah, like, there's people that have been banned. Like, they, you can get reported. Do you know what? I know someone that was on Muzmatch, yeah. And um, what's it called? They were, they were talking to a girl on Muzmatch and she she was desperately like trying to convince them to meet up to like go for oh, a coffee I said this online. and he was like he was like nah 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 i don't want to do that and, he, and then she was like come on come on like let's go meet have a coffee it's fine and he was like for ages he was like no nah, i don't think we should like let's keep it on the phone blah 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 and eventually he caved in yeah. he eventually he was like Oh, do you know what? All right, let's meet. And then she was like, I knew it. I knew you were. Right. All men are the same. <laughs> All men are the same. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I said that. That's so funny. She was like, see, I knew it. Oh, you're all the same. Da, da, da. When I first heard that story, I was laughing so much. Like, <laughs> you got to have a lot of like issues. Yeah. Too. And she kept, like, didn't want to give up on it. Just kept going. No, but oh, I swear, recently, like if I've ever been talking to someone I'm interested, I tell them straight away, like we have to have parents involved straight away. If really? We're, yeah, if we're gonna, uh, like, I'm like, you know, I can, I can speak to your parents if you want to meet up. And Bloody like. hell, Ray. Like, I yeah. don't think you're a serious yeah. candidate. No, 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 I'm, I'm not, your friend. I didn't even know that. <laughs> no, that's it's because he's lying. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing it for the audience again. It's been like that for the last, I'd say, few months. But and I feel like my parents are good judges of like character. They mm. meet them for the first time. You know what's funny? Like the last girl you spoke to is probably watching this like lying no, 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 piece no, no, no. of <laughs> shit. She is not because I <laughs> said it to her and then uh, yeah, she was moving along about the parents thing, so I left it. Oh, oh that's so good. I'm actually proud of you, Wolof, for taking that step. The, um, yeah, bro, like, as a kid, I used to bring kids around, uh, you know, your friends to mm -hmm. your house. My parents would be like, don't ch chat to my man, he's not good for you. Mm -hmm. Bro, years later, he became a nitty. It's a crackhead, bro. <laughs> Wallah, what does that have to do with how, how anything? How do your parents know that? Huh? It's weird, I don't yeah, know. He looks like he's going to take some drugs soon. But yeah, <laughs> like I said, my parents, bro, my parents' is marriage. It's like, anytime I need life advice, I always go to them. Yeah. With, um, with lockdown, basically, mom got... Karen, sorry. Gone. No, no, Karen, Karen, no, no, please. please. Say Do you think... Men are actually pieces of shit. Whoa. Because if you were having that conversation <laughs> with... Do you see how nice they are to... No, go on, no, bro. With girls, they'd be like, yeah, stop interrupting me. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. Let me finish. Anyway. <laughs> would you, would and I know, you, because A.M. does it with me. It's <laughs> just a, let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> You and might as well just date each other at this point. <laughs> Relax. Anyway, what I was saying is this. Do you think your parents would survive in this day and age? Like, because you're, you're obviously they're an amazing, amazing um, relationship. Allah Mubarak. But they didn't have similar things that we have. Like, for example, people have a lot of access to other people now. And, and they put in certain situations like Instagram liking, messages, DMs, all this type of stuff. So will they fully be an amazing judge of something if they don't understand the environment that you're living in? That is true. Yeah, because our marriages would have lasted that. Actually, that's a lie. No, no. My, <laughs> my parents' my parents' marriage didn't last that long. I don't know a lot of people. That's amazing. Should we let our guests finish what he was saying? 
<laughs> I told you, men actually. No, I'm actually saying because if you want to lips him, you can. No, you know what I mean. We have a guest. This is not interrupt. All right, cool. <laughs> Marriage. I think the epitome of their love was in lockdown. Mom, she got diagnosed with Parkinson's. Yeah, and oh. this was I'm so sorry to this was like uh, you know during COVID times. Mm-hmm. So NHS was full. We couldn't take the doctors and her condition <sighs> just got worse and worse staying at home. Mm. And we didn't even know what it was because she wasn't diagnosed. Mm. So it came to a point where she couldn't move. She was just in bed, mm. yeah. just in pain all day. Bro, my dad used to shower her, take her to the bathroom, oh. toilets, feed her morning, night while working. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it was just like, uh, it was the epitome of love for me. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? I've never seen anything like that. That's a beautiful example to have, I think. Yeah. And um, I think, um, bro, after seeing that, I think they would have survived for anything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That's really good, man. May yeah, Allah give really them barakah and allow them to reunite in Jannah. Amen. 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 And give us all marriages like that. Amen. 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 Um, yeah, Nishan, do you No. Know <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so I asked my Instagram some questions. Um, I feel like I'd love, I could literally sit and have the conversations we were just having with you for like another two hours, yeah. but we could save it for next time if you come on. Yeah, sure. um, I asked my Instagram questions that we girls want to ask guys, but they're too afraid to ask. Okay. But what I need from both of you is to just be completely honest. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to answer it, like just... Just say next question. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? I'll let Ray take most of the questions for this one so it's right. just like yeah so the first question is oh it's actually for ray so mm-hmm. ray um if you're um wait let me read this how one. they know that he's on hold on hold on if you're <laughs> what the hell how they know it's for ray if you're because i put it on my private story just wait okay. at you okay so oh god this is her friends if your best friend's sister got divorced and he stayed friends with um, <laughs> the husband, it up <laughs> and he it stayed up. friends, Mask quiz, bro. if you're okay, sorry, sorry, it's from her. Shut up! If your sister, yeah, 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 my sister's your si- sorry, no, your sister got divorced yeah. and your best friend stayed friends with her ex-husband, would that okay. make him a big fat snake? <laughs> I see, I see what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, Nishun? I think I didn't tell you, yeah, but can I say this? Yeah. Um, he, I forgot to even ask. I was like, yeah, I don't know if I asked oh, or not, this but guy. Ray actually asked me if it was okay for him to make content with him. He asked, can you ask Nishrin? Oh, so it's your fault. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 I called you and you didn't pick up. Yeah. So I, he was the next option. And yeah. I was like, oh, oh, Ray, you know what? That's so cute that you actually, he like, actually considered thought about that. It. Yeah. By the way, I have no issue with the guy, like, I'm not gonna lie, like he's. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I actually it's don't. It's not even your question anyway, so it doesn't. Matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I just thought it was funny because, like, that is funny. someone has mentioned it to me before. They were like, "Is it not strange that like Ray's um like really close with not really close, but like they make content with lead yeah. and stuff like that?" And I'm like, "No, if I if I really hated the guy, then yeah, it'd probably yeah. be like keep it in private." But yeah, that was actually a joke. Mm. I was trying to make. But you would not you laugh. actually tell if you hate someone? Would you tell someone not to be friends? With I them? would never. But the fact that you asked, yeah. I would never tell anyone. Like even my brother, I would yeah. even you. Like let's say you guys were really good friends beforehand, or you had got close. Mm-hmm. I would never want to cut off a friendship. Yeah. Especially when I know the guy is not an evil guy. Do you get it? It's yeah. just yeah. But that was me trying to make you not laugh. Okay. Next question. <laughs> Okay, so there was actually no questions, but it's just you guys' opinions and things. Oh, no, there, there, are, there are questions, sorry. So, this is a good one. And we spoke about this, like, literally, like, two years ago, Eob. Do men care about body hair? So, like, I'm talking, like, leg with a bit of leg hair or armpit hair. I've or never like, seen a woman's body, so... <laughs> No, well, listen, like, let's say a girl's got, like, really hairy arms or hairy <laughs> back. <laughs> I'm joking, stuff like that. <laughs> or, like, a hairy back or, like, hairy arms or moustache or sideburns. Like, be honest, does it, like... Okay. Because we've, in our heads, we're like, oh, no, like, I'm not going to lie, that's an insecurity that I've personally believe a lot of women have and they make sure that they're always, like, shaved. Not everyone, um, but, like, even, like, back hair or facial hair and stuff like that. I think when um, a man loves you, or finds you attractive or really likes you, um, he's able to look past a lot of things. Mm. But how would you know? Have you been in love? Huh? Have you been in love? I've liked people before. So if you saw like a moustache on her or a beard... I wouldn't care. Like, are you sure? I don't get... Men men don't get icks like that. Like, we don't get icks from physical stuff at all. If if it's someone that I'm just seeing, you know know what I mean? It's a fling or whatever, and I see that, I'll get the ick. But if it's someone I like, and I'm like, yo, I want to marry this woman, I don't care about anything. (laughs) I think um, I agree to a certain extent, because I feel like when you love someone... Not that you become blind, but you become tolerant of things that you wouldn't normally, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, personally, for me, I don't care about that stuff. As long as, for example, the hair 
armpit hair, stuff that I feel like is actually hygiene in yeah. your religion and stuff that you're meant to take care of, you take care of. If you've got a bit of arm hair or you've got the sideburns, who yeah, cares? Like yeah. it's your yeah, natural body. It's a natural female body. Yeah. So I've heard, we've, you've told me this before on a podcast and I've heard people say this, but I feel like for some women, for me personally, I feel like, because especially like as you get older, yeah, you, I've actually noticed a bit of a beard and I feel like it is a bit of an insecurity of mine. Like but, I'll go home and be like, oh my God, I didn't remove like this little bit of beard hair and I was out all day today. So that's good to know that you no, don't no, care. No. I don't think I could ever I'm going to grow it out now. <laughs> <laughs> Next episode, she comes in full act. <laughs> 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 um, no, nah, I don't. I don't okay. think. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with Ray. If, if you love someone, those little things don't even matter, man. Like even the big things don't matter. Yeah, it's so true. You got to think. People are in love in marriages, and they they end, got bigger issues. Than yeah, just, yeah, and not just that. Sometimes you're if you're in love with someone, you got to remember that looks and that you can. It's like you have a different connection. There's people that are married and that something traumatic happens to their spouse where they become either deformed or they've, yeah, yeah, they've yeah. lost something or they've lost their face and they're still so in love with them yep. because it's more than just your looks. Do you know what I mean? Realm. Yeah. I agree. Not going to lie. And we can go deeper into that, but it's the same as like when you're married, you will like just sit around in your, like your wife, I don't know if you're in that stage yet, but she will like sit around in your pajamas, like hair in a bun, like not, and I feel like the men still look. You don't look, know if I'm in that stage. As in What's like. What's doing, waking up before me, putting a maker up on. I mean, you've been married for like. <laughs> before he wakes up. <laughs> no, no, what I mean is like, you can have your trampy days where you're yeah. literally like hair bun, you don't care, like you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel like the man still looks at you on those days and thinks you're beautiful. That's the best days. Because yeah. I'm not actually, you know me anyway, I'm someone that's always been, I don't really like makeup and all that stuff. Yeah, I same. very much like the natural beauty of a woman. And like, that's when I, the most happy when I see my wife in the relaxed state, where she doesn't feel like she has to do this and do that. Do you yeah. like seeing a woman get comfy as well. But not yeah. all men are like that. You know that. Like I was watching a live once and there was someone that was saying, like the guy was having a discussion with someone else and he was saying how he's married or whatever, but if his wife was to do a number two in a toilet, he, would, he wouldn't he would be able to like do whatever afterwards for at least like an hour or something. He's like, that would turn me... That I would don't feel me like that's crazy. love. I'm not going to feel like that's love. Yeah, that's... Some people are just lost. I think it's weird. Like you want to get to the point where you're so comfortable, like I'll be standing there holding her hand, wash, brushing my teeth. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's not that deep. That's the level that you'd want to get to. Yeah. Not like, oh, she's in the toilet. Right, yeah, and put a hazmat suit on. No, but what I'm saying in. is everyone's different because some men are like the thought of their wife farting or doing a poo will literally Wait, make them feel sick. Same thing with girls. Like, do you guys still get icks if you if you really like a guy? Say, for example, like the whole joke about seeing a guy's bum crap when he's getting out of the car and stuff. Yeah. If you've got a husband that you really love, does that stuff like get to you or not? I don't know. I've never had a husband I really love. <laughs> <That's so laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh. That was a joke. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I here's the way I explain the ick, right? I feel like when you still get the it you still get the like feeling of like oh that's like a bit embarrassing but instead of being like oh that's disgusting you're like oh that's so cute like in your head you're like that's so cute like he went out of the car and he could see his crack like when you <laughs> love them rather than being like no, that's, oh that's so you learn to like all the stuff that you usually and not just yeah. you just look at it and it's more like oh that's that's cute like you still get the feeling of yeah that's a little bit embarrassing but yeah. you're just like Oh, how cute. Rather than like, oh my God, I'm never going to text him again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. So I've, but that's me personally. Other women could be different. But um, do you think that all women, no, sorry, all men cheat? No. Hell no. No. Yeah, obviously. Imagine A was like, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not all men, but do you think that all men are capable, or most men, let's say 99% of men, uh, want to cheat or capable of cheating? No. If, no. You really, bro, if you really love someone, you don't want to cheat with them. Okay, but see, you see the thing you were talking about earlier on about two different kind of men, the safe option and the dangerous one. That one's the one that you like will cheat on you. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, um, also, does finding out a woman is a divorcee change your value? That's what it says. Would I want to be with someone that's divorced before? I think I'd want to know why the divorce. I wonder who sent that question. <laughs> I'd, I'd want to know, not exactly why, like, you don't need to tell me full detail but for example if you divorce because you cheated and did something wrong then obviously that's going to change my opinion because then it's something about you that's not right no but you stole my answer that's what i said to you last time you asked me the question don't lie we never spoke about that wow no but i mean like <laughs> would it if you were speaking to your woman would it because here's what me and my friends and a lot of women don't understand yeah if a girl's in a relationship and they weren't married but they were in like two three four five haram relationships but they just went under the radar whatever no one really knows about it 
I feel like the guys are more inclined to go for that woman, the one that's been in a halal relationship and just got divorced. Because there is a stigma behind um, being a divorcee, like as a no, woman. No, 100%. I think my case is a little bit different just because I would prefer to be in my first relationship with someone that's never been in a relationship. Yeah, yeah which makes sense. And I think it's okay to have that preference. Yeah. But let's say you liked a woman, yeah. would it be a put off that she was divorced? Uh, I mean, again, it goes back to the thing of if I really like someone, I'll be able to overlook stuff. So, so obviously, anything I'm going to ask them, if I really like her, I'll overlook it. If I really like her, I'll overlook it. Bro, I would. He's trying I'm, to... very, I'm, way I'm more, joking. If I like someone, I'm very, very forgiving about a lot of things. Oh, that's cute. Like, what about I you? think oh. the last time I was like heartbroken, literally, I went to After prayer. After a month? Yeah. You fall in love that quick? Yeah. I think I went to prayer and I was like, yeah, like, don't put no bad karma, nothing, like, just forgive us straight away. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So oh, that's you, beautiful. Yeah, you, you need to learn to forgive. I and mean, look over, look stuff. I mean, it's something that happens I mean, lately. yeah, but I feel like sometimes you can be a bit of like a, not a pushover, but you're so like nonchalant and not wanting an issue that you just let things slide. No, I think what it is, <laughs> yeah, yeah. is like, say for example, we went out last time, we was in the masjid and someone shouted at us for being loud. Do you yeah. remember? And you was like, what the hell? And I was like, bro, like, he's an old man. This, I think I just have this thing I was where, ready to fight. No, no, no I, was, I was like, I have this thing where I automatically start broadening my imagination and try to look for reasons why they No, that's what you meant to be. You give people the benefit of the doubt, which is good. Which I feel like you usually are. No, for me, I, one thing, I, a pet peeve that I have that gets to me a lot is because I feel like Islam teaches you to be a certain way. Yeah? And so okay, why are you not doing no, that? No, listen. As in like them? Yeah, why are you not doing that? First of all, we had made a mistake, but we're the younger generation. You're meant to stand up and come to us and be like, brothers, look, the best way to be, yeah. teach us something, be happy, have a smile on your face, bring us closer to the din. Imagine we had someone new of us who just reverted and then all he's seen is the uncle saying, you're not being a blah, 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 blah. Yeah, like what, yeah, in a yeah. mosque where we're meant to be like, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's then, true. Whereas I'm like, okay, maybe he's just had a long day at work. I'm trying to look for excuses for him. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. That's my issue. But yeah. at the same time, I don't know. I don't think long days at work. I don't give people the excuse of long days at work. I've been, to I be understand. Rude. I understand yeah. people go through things. Yeah. And I really don't understand. I know it's really hard. But, but we're not your family. We don't have to put up with Yeah, I don't shit. have to sit and be like, oh, you might have had a... But no, let's treat everyone with respect. You're annoyed. Tell me you're annoyed. Respect me. I'm going to respect you. If then I'm not respecting you, give me that reaction. Yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. I'm not going to lie. I was like you, Ray. Mm -hmm. And then I've slowly, like, getting into the, like, just be just be nice. And if not, explain. And you can turn around and be like, sorry, I'm having a bit of a bad day. Like, and then I'll be like, straight away, I'll be like, yeah, that's fair enough. But if they carry on, then it's just like, whatever. Okay, so guys, we don't actually have enough time to finish off. There's so many on there. Mm -hmm. But you know what? If you get this video to 1,500 no, likes. 1,000 likes. 1, okay. likes. We'll just literally come back after like okay. how long. We don't even know what numbers we can put okay. up. Okay, <laughs> so. Um, I say 700 likes. No, just say 1,000. Okay. So guys. Um, 1,000 likes. <laughs> We have to stop there because we're running out of time. But because there's so many questions on here that are really juicy, if you want Ray to come on, then get this video to a thousand likes, and, and we'll do a part two. And we'll do a part two with Ray because I'm like I'm ready for the debates. To be honest with you, I was ready to debate you. I could literally go another like three hours. I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It was fun. I enjoyed it. it I feel was like Piers Morgan. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been it's really really interesting yeah. and fun having you here. All right. To conclude, I would like to give two nominees for future guests. One okay. is Rafiq. Yeah. yeah. Right. Another one is your younger brother, Sammy. Oh, I, think, that's I really want to see him on the podcast. I think he'll be a good fit. And there's other things. I think it'll bring more depth to your family and whatnot. Yeah. And also, with every podcast I go on, I make everyone do the take it. Kalo, close your eyes, please. Mm -hmm. Cool. Imagine you and your wife got a kid at home. Yep. Yeah. Tough times right now. There's no promo work coming through. All mm -hmm. right. And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sally Rollaway was doing merch now. <laughs> that's, that will, inshallah, come soon. Yeah. Inshallah. inshallah. So, merch shop is open. No, but it's been quiet, yeah? And recently, there's uh, gas bills due, cost of living's going high right now. Yeah, a customer walks in through the door, you know, shop door makes noise, mm -hmm. and they're looking around, and they found one shirt that they really like. It's got yeah. the side of a little logo on it. But they're not 100% there yet, and you need to tell them to take it. Okay. <sighs> no, yeah, this is actually our, our newest line of T-shirts. Um, I worked really hard on this design. I do it myself, personally, and I'll be honest... <laughs> Oh, sorry, one second. I just, just think, think it's not that great at the moment. And I know you've been watching the podcast. You support, like, you've, you've seen the stuff we go through. You see my sister on live making a mockery of our family every day. Like, wish I'm struggling. There's no money in. Please take it. Please take it. Take it. Take it. Master manipulators, it. men. <laughs> well done, well done, well done, well done. I do actually want to try it, like, officially. Wait, one second. What? That, was that not official? That was official, but I want to do the raise one.
Well done. Wow. Master manipulator. And <laughs> um, Ray You didn't need to come for me like that. Yeah. But to conclude, Ray, um we are doing this thing where we have our guests ask our future guests a question. So whatever question you tell us now we are going to let our future guests know and ask a question and then after that they are going to ask the future guests after cool. that so yep. what question do you have for our next guest my question is if you could only eat from one place for the rest of your life what would it be you could have asked something so juicy <laughs> that was good i like that if i knew who it was i could ask something juicy <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no that was good that was good i did enjoy that uh but yeah guys that is all we have for today's episode remember to get them likes up so we can get a part two with ray 700 ray. <laughs> literally 1000 likes no 700 Ayubs. okay a thousand a thousand guys we appreciate you lot so much ray thank you so much for coming on Walla, i enjoyed that conversation so much amazing really really good um nishan you were an amazing host today as well thank you for interrupting wow us. i got a compliment <laughs> but yeah guys it's been amazing thank you so much and ray where can i find you uh, on my socials rafa247 or i'm always chilling with this guy yes Aww. sir nishan where can i find you you can find me crying on my pillow. On Periscope. From happiness. Periscope. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me at... Wait, you can find me at It's Nisrin on Instagram and TikTok. And you can find me at Kilokasha on all social media platforms. Don't forget to follow Sadie Rebel Podcast on Instagram and TikTok. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and tell everyone about it. And don't forget, this is the most important part. Take it. <laughs>